Hi, I'm Nafisa Latic and this is Across the Balkans. Today on the show, we look at a silent killer that's claiming lives even as people just breathe the air around them. We are talking about pollution. Poor air quality in the Balkans is contributing to diseases, shorter life expectancies and higher health care costs. And it's made the region Europe's pollution hotspot. The worst affected countries are Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo and Romania. Now, many people in Montenegro depend on a coal mine and a thermal power plant in Pjevlja. The small northern town has alarming pollution levels. According to a World Health Organization report, one in five deaths in Pjevlja is caused by air pollution. The environmental impact is not only affecting people, but also animals, plants and even the soil, which in turn has an even deeper impact on society. Mirjana Miladinović went there to see the situation for herself. This region of northern Montenegro has it all. Rivers, mountains, lakes, and beautiful landscapes. But no one comes to Pljevlja anymore, and those who can leave do. Why? Because this place has another name, the city without lungs. The World Health Organization has declared it life-threatening. Here, more than 200 people are diagnosed with cancer every year. And this is the air they breathe. I'm Mirjana Miladinović and I'm on my way to one of Europe's most polluted cities. As soon as I came near the city, I could feel that I was breathing different air. There's a strong smell of coal. Behind me you can see Pljevlja city. I have come here to talk with the people who decided to stay and fight for clean air and water, no matter what price they might pay. And today is one of the so-called good days, when the pollution is not as visible to the naked eye. But as those who live here tell me, even when the day is fog-free, the air is still polluted. Usually, the view from here looks like this. Here, unfortunately, the air is so bad quality that we have been aware of the fact that we have that increase on a daily, on a monthly, on a year-long level. So that air is so bad quality that we have been aware of the fact that we have been aware of po hiljadu puta od maksimalno dozvoljnih koncentracija, recimo samo PM10 čestica u vazduhu. Čitav periodni sistem hemijskih elemenata lebdi u vazduhu u pljevima, građani to udišu i za posljedicu imamo jako loše zdravlje stanovništva ovoga grada i ovog područja. Pljevlja's pollution problem began 40 years ago, when a thermal power plant was opened and coal consumption increased. The European Union has marked this as an environmental black spot. And the pollution is taking its toll, especially in villages near landfills. Tamo recimo u ovom selu, ovaj za dvije godine je preminulo 11 ljudi za dvije godine, znači samo iz jednog plemena Stanimirovića. Svi su imali u glavnom mistu dijagnozu kancer pluća. The poison comes not only from the air, but also from water and the soil. This is Europe in the 21st century, but Pljevlja's water supply is not only dangerous to drink, it can't be used for anything, and those in the city center have begun relying on springs. I have been alive, but every day, what we do in this young people, and we don't have water, and we don't know if it's going to be used for it, a ne znam se ili je zagađeni vazduh, a ne knosi džavo vazduh, 
ali voda je se mogla da riješi iz ovoliko vremena. Nije teško ako nemaš kut. Ako imaš kut, ideš i kut. Ako nemaš kut, jedi gdje si i posmata šta se dešava. Opasan je za život i stanovnici obolijevaju od upijenja puno, od najgore bolesti, vjerujte mi, a sve je to posljedica zagađenja. Takva nam je sudbina, to je u nas zad koliko godina nije to od skoro, to je tako od, meni roditelj isto priče da je to od kad oni znaju da je tako zagađena. Meni smeta kad dođe ova zima, jedva čekam ako malo da ovaj vjetrić krene, da malo izdađemo, jer to je neka zna po 15 dana da bude, bukvalno da se ne može izdaći napolje, pogotovo ovako kad imate malo dijete, onda je baš katastrofa. Za vodu to je posebna priča. Prva kiša, voda sa izvorišta ne može da se bije, koja je u gradskom vodu vodu. Čak u jednom periodu i ovde voda sa ovog izvorišta, znači svi smo morali da kupujemo bidone vode. A računi stižu kako stižu i mi to plaćamo. Environmentalists tell me that people shouldn't be drinking this spring water. Ni ta voda sa ta dva izvora, ona nije bakteriološki ispravna. A ljudi su primorani, nemaju neku bolju vodu, idu tamo i koriste tu vodu koja... Nije za ljudsku potrebu. The pollution is not only poisoning the people who live here, it's having a much wider environmental impact. One that's being felt outside Montenegro's borders. Waste from the coal mine and power plant ends up in the Chehotina river. Photos were shared across the Balkans of a native fish species killed by an unknown poison. Većina tih akcidentnih situacija koje se dese su u pitanju je ljudski faktor. Oni su to radili decenijama, ispuštali, ali u određenim količinama uvijek su pratili i vodostaj i uvijek su pratili količinu koju ispuštaju. Tada kada je se desio taj akcident, stvari su se otrgle kontroli i pretjeralo se. Bio je mali vodostaj, više su toga ispustili nego što treba i došlo je do tog akcidenta. Mogu da kažem da onaj ko radi griješi, ali oni su bili kategorični da nije to od njih i to je strašno. They collected more than a thousand kilograms of dead fish. No one knows how many ended up at the bottom of the river or how many flowed down river into Bosnia. No one was held responsible. The state-owned electric power company paid around half a million euro to the fishing club to compensate for the damage they claim they did not do. The money was used for this hatchery, where local species are bred to make up for the damage done to the river's wildlife over and over again. Those fighting for clean water and clean air are outraged because officials have promised lots of things to address the problem, but nothing's changed. The mayor of Plevlja, on the other hand, doesn't see the situation as that bad. I am someone who is born here, who has his family here, who lives here, who has been able to live in Plevlja. So, if it was that way, I think that I would have thought a little more about whether I have my family to live in Plevlja, but I don't think that way. Dosta ljudi se grije na ugalj, generalno govoreći maksimalno zagađenje mi pravimo, ne pravi ga toliko industrije koliko mi nećemo da priznamo, smo mi ti koji zagađuju grad. In the last 10 years several critical hotspots have been neutralized. There are plans to repair the water supply and improve the environmental impact of the power plant. However, these options have been recently labeled too expensive. So people say the best solution to lower emissions would be just shutting down the thermal plant. Pravi put ni u kom slučaju nije gašenje termoelektrane u nekom kratkom roku. Također sam siguran će vlada naći način kako da sa elektroprivredom obezbijati nedostajuća sredstva. Zašto? Zato što će kada se završi ekološka rekonstrukcija termoelektrane, rad termoelektrane u prijevodnjima biti apsolutno ekološki neutralan u odnosu na prijevodnje. The price for reconstruction is over 70 million euro, which the government doesn't have. Negotiations with the EU are underway and no one knows what the final outcome will be, not even the government.
kako će funkcionisani termoelektrana. To je sada više pitanje politike Evropske unije nego nas. Oni će vjerovatno cijenom te natjerati, neće ti oni kazati da morate da zatvorite, ali će ti oni cijenom proizvodnje iz termoelektrana natjerati ćete da je zatvorite. Until then, the residents of Pljevlja will have to wait. In the meantime, they can try to enjoy the sunshine and adopt a greener lifestyle. Mirjana Miladinović, TRT World, Pljevlja, Montenegro. As we mentioned, air pollution is the biggest environmental challenge that has threatened public health in the Balkans for decades, being associated with multiple diseases. So to discuss this, we have Srđan Kukolj. He is a Balkan region consultant of the Health and Environment Alliance. He is in Belgrade for us. Srđan, thanks for being our guest. What is polluted air doing to people in Western Balkans and is it getting worse? Good afternoon and thank you for having me today with you. I would say that the link between the damaging effects of poor uh, air quality in humans is very well established and the air pollution threatens human lives in two primary ways. Uh, first is causing an increase in non-communicable disease cases and the second one is leading to premature deaths. And not only does it affect the people's lives, but it also contributes to the downfall of uh, public health, the economy, the environment and makes the climate change more extreme, I would say. And the, as you said, the air pollution is the leading cause of increased number of admissions to respiratory and cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular hospitals, emergency visits and premature deaths. And um, science has proven that the air pollution affects and children um, and also those at right. advanced stage. So who is, who is affected the most and which cities in the Western Balkans are affected the most at the moment? I would say that those at the advanced age and developed health conditions, the pregnant women and people uh, in poor living conditions are suffering the most. Of course, that we should speak more about the, the, the kids and the children, lungs, heart, brain, respiratory, immune and nervous system. So because uh, being exposed to the air pollution, it can um, lead to lifelong consequences. And um, just recently, we, we published briefings for four Balkan cities on air quality, including Belgrade, uh, Pristina, Sofia and Tuzla. But I would say that, uh, that these capitals are not the only ones affected by the air pollution. And um, there are many other cities across the region experiencing the same problem. And we have seen that some um, cities are affected by air pollution at the larger scale, considering, uh, considering dif different sources of air pollution. So Right. Right, and how has uh, the current pandemic and the fact that health has been put in the center of attention impact environmental issues and challenges? Well, COVID-19 has exposed the vulnerability of our health and our health care systems and our societies and the need to ensure the greater resilience, of course, but uh, public health has been hit hard. Uh, many citizens have been affected by this pandemic and many have unfortunately lost their lives. But however, there are many scientific studies shows that people who have been exposed to long-term PM2.5 air pollution might be more vulnerable to COVID-19 than the others, which means that health experts and health care providers have been very busy uh, last two years by scientific exercise on a better understanding of health preconditions such as respiratory or cardiovascular diseases and long-term exposure to the air pollution. So there is like really, really huge number of, of scientific uh, studies right. Right. considering and Sirjan, those problems. Sirjan, how can we achieve better health and cleaner air in the Balkans? What are your recommendations? First of all, I have to say that we can achieve better air quality by stopping direct and indirect public subsidies for polluting processes, especially fossil fuels activities such as coal power plants in the region, since we have a huge uh, coal power plant fleet across the region, and also making those funds available for energy transition towards a more, more sustainable uh, way of living, and also by fully aligning regional air quality standards with the recent uh, published and updated World Health Organization air quality guidelines and last by putting the health in the center of environmental policies to prevent the risk of uh, developing uh, disease much later in life. Right and Sergeant, just briefly why is the Western Balkans having such a bad air quality? What is the main reason for this? 
Well, I would say the region um, is struggling with a huge number of different sources of pollution, like outdated uh, vehicles, like agricultural or construction sites, activities or um, waste management, uh, coal power plants, other industries using burning fossil fuels, uh, household heating. Uh, so there are many, many different uh, sources of air pollution um, across the region. So basically this transition towards the sustainable and greener way of living is really needed. And how important is the regional cooperation to fight this? It is very important, not only the regional, but also we've seen that, um, unfortunately, at the national level, um, the ministries responsible for a health and environment are not really cooperating very well between themselves. themselves. So basically, we do understand that building capacities at the national level is, is really important um, and also will lead, of course, to cooperation at the regional level. However, we do expect the regional um, leaders to sit together and discuss how to um, decrease the level of uh, air pollution across the region and improve the way of living here. Sarjan Kukolje, thanks so much for being our guest on Across the Balkans. Thank you very much for having me. Air pollution is not the only environmental challenge that the Western Balkan countries are facing. Plastic waste is also a massive problem that affects public health. In an attempt to curb plastic pollution, North Macedonia introduced a ban on the sale of plastic bags in stores. Instead, customers need recyclable bags that cost around 30 cents. Many say it should have been imposed ages ago, but other people think it's too expensive. Becky Mlaci reports from Skopje. In an effort to fight plastic pollution, the authorities of North Macedonia have imposed a tariff for the use of plastic bags. In supermarkets, they now cost 15 denas, around 30 US cents. An item which before December cost only 2 denas, just under 4 cents, and they must be biodegradable. Opinions are divided. <laughs> To find out about the motives that led to this price rise, I'm meeting the Deputy Minister of Environment, Kristina Ojaklieska. She says the microplastic that the bag release end up in the water supply and the food we consume. So, this law is to demotivate the citizens to use them и купуваат пластичните кеси. А, со првичната цена од 1 до 2 денари не се постигна посакуваниот резултат, бидејќи сме сведоци дека пластичните кеси и понатаму масовно се купува. Јас очекувам дека со оваа мерка граѓаните ќе се демотивираат, практично ќе се одвратат од употребата на пластичните кеси, а од друга страна ќе се стимулира употребата на торби за повеќе кратно употреба. When you go in the supermarket, you have two options. Buy a plastic bag for 15 denars or bring a bag with you from home. As an example, two plastic bags cost as much as a loaf of bread or Four plastic bags cost as much as a liter of petrol. So you do the math. Свето се загада, моринјата се загада. И ако продолжиме вака сами себе ќе се уништиме. Не е скапа кесата. Треба уште да се поскапи така да секој да се научи со торба да си доаѓа. Manufacturers of plastic bags have warned that 600 jobs are on the line since the steep price is killing demand. I've come to Tetovo to meet Metro Stemi who left Denmark and returned to his native country to invest in plastic bag production. His factory is surviving 
thanks to clients he has in Kosovo. But he tells me that some of his colleagues in Tetovo have had to shut down. Shum dome bohen pre kësaj forme. Mendoj se është dashtur të ulemi bashkarisht edhe në opinion dalim bashk na si prodhuus kuptohet edhe sindikatat e punëtorve gjithë me një qëndrim për bashkët edhe në mënyrë gradale ta bëjmë që kjo të kushtoj dhe me thonë të paguhet kjo shërbim si gjithë shka qëtër se ka qenë edhe me disa e kanë për me pages dhe ma përpara ka kushtu po të shumit s'ka qenë gratis kjo krasimisht të mi në skandin a vitë diku 4 krona kushto një qese edhe në bashkë se logarive që i kam bërë edhe vetë personalisht këtu nuk duhet të kaloj 4 denari në asë një mënyrë i vëndohet një, si të them, një barjer, një taks, e jashtë zakonshme, të themi për 15 denarësh, e që ajo e njëta deri bëra një djetorit ka kushtuar një apo dy denarë, dhe më thonë, realisht, po thonë, në bylle me njerës, në së në interesonë më të tje, edhe të shonë në mendojshë se po favorizohet, të themi, apo, letra apo kartoni. Environmentalist for their part, are celebrating the increased price of plastic bags, but say that is not enough to end plastic pollution, as there are still many products on the market that use plastic packaging. Stole Leshovsky is an expert on pollution caused by plastic. For two decades now, he has been campaigning against the use of plastic bags. Microplastikata predstavua težo kancerogen, Znači, seriozno vlija je vrst zdravijeto na ludjeto. Sega sme vo ekna pandemija, mnogo ludje beja zagriženi za emera vakcinite, od strah deka deluvale na DNK-to. Mikroplastikata je dokažano naučno deka deluva na DNK-to. Znači, ako imame nešto od što bi trebalo da se plašime, to je tokmu mikroplastikata. Ние не го решаваме проблемот со забраната на кесите. Значи, тоа е само еден мал сегмент. Проблемот е многу сложен. Проблемот ги вклучува значи, и новите модерни депони кои треба да се отворат во државата. Го вклучува нивното работење, значи, работата со сепарирањето на отпадот, исправувањето со отпадот. Другите држави се многу понапред од нас. In 2020, North Macedonia generated a total of 913,000 tons of municipal waste. That works out to 452 kilograms of waste per person. According to the state statistical office, 630,000 tons of waste was collected in 2020, of which only 233,000 tons ended up in the one landfill located in Skopje that meets European standards. Over 250,000 tons of waste ends up in illegal landfills like this one. And there are many of them across the country. Among the waste, there is a lot of plastic from food packaging that can still be bought in a supermarket. This generates microplastic, which then penetrates the soil and ends up in our food and water. So, solving the problem with illegal landfills is just as important as reducing plastic bags. Ministerstvo za životna sredina i prostorno planiranje pravi napori tehnički i financijski da gi podraži opštinite da vospostavat funkcionalni regionalni sistemi za upravovanje s odpadom. To podraspira obezbedovanje na kontejneri i kamioni za odložovanje na odpadot i vojedno i za selekcija na odpadot, ponatamo izgradba na potrebna ta infrastruktura. These days, inspectors are checking whether the bags sold are biodegradable, while fines for the non-compliance with the law range from 1,000 to 20,000 euros, depending on the size of the company and the type of violation. One thing is for sure, North Macedonia needs to slow the flow of plastic, but at the same time, the country has to better handle plastic waste to keep it from ending in the environment. Bekim Laci, TRT World, Skopje, North Macedonia. 
will continue to follow the pollution crisis and its environmental impact in the region. Thanks for watching this episode of Across the Balkans from me and the team. Bye-bye for now and I hope to see you next time.